Hello, welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons, and tonight, a uh, special treat for me Caldwell Eastern Standard. This is the 6x54 Cypress Room. Uh, this is the first time I've smoked one of these, uh, and I have to had to bring up their website so I could read off what the ingredients are for this cigar because it would have taken me a half hour to memorize this. So, wrapper, Connecticut hybrid Ecuadorian. The binder is a Habana from the Dominican. Uh, the wrapper is uh, vintage 2006. Binder Vintage 2005. The fillers Criollo 98, Viso Dominican from 2008, Corojo Dominican La Hero 2006, and Habano Seco Nicaraguan 2007. So there are five different vintage years in the cigar. Uh, quite a lot. Never could have remembered all that. So let me put this down quickly. As I said, this is the first time I've had one of these. I'm really looking forward to it. I just bought a bunch of uh, Caldwell cigars from uh, uh, Atlantic Cigar, I believe it was. Uh, King is Dead, Long Live the King. This one. And uh, have tried none of these so far. So. Should be an interesting ride. Looks like a lot of good ingredients, a lot of different countries, different vintages. Take a look at this as a this little uh, pigtail cap there. It's nice, rich, medium brown. It's got some very fine veins in it. Seams are visible, but they're very tight. There's a woody, or a light woody fragrance to it. So, let's get this cut. Let's see what we get. Very sweet cedar flavor on a cold draw. Mm, very nice. Fragrant smoke, quite pleasant actually.
tell you right off the bat, first puff of this is very rich. Mm. That same sweet cedar flavor on the cold draw, cut in the first puff, a little bit of earth, touch of leather, slightly spicy finish. Mm. Sweet cedar is the dominant flavor though. Hmm. Remarkably sweet. Very tasty. Hmm. Uh, now, since we have vintages going back from 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2008, uh, I think there was really a, a extreme amount of care, an extreme amount of testing and blending uh, skill that went into this. I like the idea of the Viso, Seco, and the Hero as the fillers. Very nice combination seen in some other cigars. Probably not these particular vintages and these particular tobaccos, but mm. well, these are different primings different tobaccos from different years so it's quite a complex blend and it's one thing to take uh, three primings from the same crop and put those into a cigar but to take three different primings three different tobaccos three different vintages Okay, I'm sticking with sweet cedar, leather, touch of earth in there, and a very mild spice on the finish. That's my starting puffs. Going to uh, enjoy the first third here, and I'll be back to talk about it shortly. Okay, welcome back. With the Caldwell. Eastern Standard. Uh, with my usual ballerina type grace, I managed to knock the ash off before I got a chance to show it to you. I had a good solid inch of ash on there. Actually, actually dropped the cigar on the floor and put a nice little split in the wrapper. Uh, you can see the burns fairly straight here, a little curvy, but now I got about a half inch tear in the wrapper. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect anything really, I'm just going to burn through it. Flavor wise, sweet cedar, spice on the finish, the earthiness tapered off. The leather tapered off and there's a nice nutty flavor weaving in and out it's not constant but rears its head here and there predominantly a sweet cedar flavor now that spice on the finish very mild it's not black pepper it's not white pepper it's just 
back of the tongue on the sides a little spicy kind of reminds me of one of those uh, spice gumdrops you know, little gumdrops with a sugar coating that kind of spice but without the without the sugariness kind of hard to describe <clears throat> but nonetheless cedar nutty spice sweetness but not sweetness on the finish this is a medium strength and medium body it's not overpowering it's extremely rich tasting it's very smooth very tasty very rich mm. quite delicious actually I'm really enjoying it I could just kick myself because I dropped it but I try to do too many things at one time these things happen but one thing I'm going to do is work my way into the middle the second portion I'm going to keep my eye on that little split I put in there doesn't seem to be a problem right now it burns going pretty well pretty straight Let's see if we get any flavor changes any changes in the strength be back shortly okay Welcome back to the cigar area with the Caldwell Eastern Standard. Apparently when I dropped this, it did more damage than I thought. There's another crack in the wrapper. The first one burned right through, no problem. Still got a pretty straight burn, a little curvy, but I, I feel that if I just let this go, it'll burn right through that too. Binder doesn't seem to be damaged, just the wrapper. I have learned a serious lesson about being more careful. Uh, and if you notice a change in the lighting, I just uh, put a fresh battery in my lamp and also put a fresh battery in my camera. So it uh, might look a little brighter than last segment speaking of the last segment we still had sweet cedar we had uh, mild spice on the finish we lost that earthy tone we had a little bit of nuttiness in there well we've got another change in the flavor profile <coughs> uh, the cedar tapered off as I went into the middle and was replaced by a very creamy light coffee flavor uh, this is still medium to me it's on the lighter end of the medium scale uh, and I've been trying some mild cigars lately and uh, I've been liking them and I usually I usually go for medium to full or full body but this is definitely medium on the lighter range but it that does not in any way shape or form take away from the flavor it is very rich that creamy coffee flavor is just it's just stellar uh, I I can't I'm very very I'm not surprised. I've uh, this is the first one of these I've had. I've smoked the uh, Caldwell uh, Junior Varsity line, uh, several of each of of those cigars, and I, I like all of them. They're all distinct in their own way, very flavorful. This is definitely a couple notches above. Now this. Cigar goes for, I think I paid $10.80 for it. 
but they're not cheap but uh it's definitely a premium now based on that lineup of ingredients that I gave you in the beginning with the five different vintages and the five different leaves that make up the wrapper binder and the, and the uh, filler uh, I'm not surprised it's a pricey cigar but it is very tasty And even though I did a bang up job of damaging it, uh, when I wasn't really that far into it, it's also doing a very spectacular job of correcting itself. I've had to do no touch ups. Uh, that first crack, as I said, burned right through. This one seems to be doing the same. So I'm not really too worried about it. first split was along the length of the cigar. This one is across the width. But it seems to be going just fine. Got a nice gray ash on there. And the ash holds on for about an, an inch or so at a time. It's, it's very well constructed. Obviously it's very well constructed because even with the damage I've done to it, it's still smoking great. Plenty of smoke, plenty of good flavor so far. So I'm going to venture into the final third, but you know what? I think at this point I'm going to take the wrapper or the uh, band off because I'll probably get to that point before I'm ready to come back with the uh, final segment. Okay. says Eastern Standard live East die young well I do live on the East but I have no intention to dying young I intend to be very 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 old when I die a lot older than the cat in the picture but until that time I'm gonna keep smoking to the final third and be back to talk about it shortly okay back in the final third of the Eastern Standard by Caldwell Cigars uh, that tear in the wrapper burned right through as I thought it would you can actually finally see about three quarters of an inch of ash on there nice straight burn uh, the flavor profile changed once again in the final third. Uh, just recently though, in the last few puffs, uh, that creamy coffee flavor stayed intact. But in the last few puffs, it's been overtaken by a charred, like, toasty wood flavor. Not unpleasant. Uh, very similar to the... Uh, uh, Kentucky fire cured flavor that uh, some other cigars have uh, been boasting lately. Um, very reminiscent of the uh, Drew Estate Kentucky fire cured and the uh, Red Lion uh, Cheroots, which is an old brand that was revived nice little 
about three and a half, four inch little cheroots with fire cured tobacco. Really reminds me of that flavor. And I, I love those. Uh, one of these days I'll have to get around to doing a review on one of those. But. So, excuse me. In essence, we've had three major changes in the flavor. Uh, it's still medium. I'd say it's it's more of a full it's a full body right now, but a medium strength. Uh, still very rich and smooth. Uh, the spice tapered off uh, along with the coffee, and the predominant flavor right now is the uh, is the uh, toasty wood flavor. A lot of the cigars I've been smoking lately have gotten start out medium, stay that way, or get milder and uh, more mellow toward the end. And this one's picked up a little bit of strength, a little bit of body, not so much strength. And uh, it's finishing off with a much more robust flavor than it it had through the rest of it but very very good uh, as I said this is I paid ten dollars and eighty cents for this. this is like eleven dollar stick would I buy another one yes I definitely will buy another one this is very pleasurable smoke um, I'm smoking it for about two hours now and for a six inch Toro size cigar, that's a good long smoke. Worth the money, worth the time, very enjoyable. Really looking forward to uh, trying the other Caldwell blends I have, the King is Dead and Long Live the King. They'll be coming up in reviews soon. But definitely a 10 out of 10. Although it's a higher price, worth it if you want to buy a premium smoke I highly recommend this very complex flavor profile it matches the complex blend uh, burn like a champ even with the damage I did to it in two different spots by dropping it burned right through those tears in the wrapper no touch ups no relights no heat toward the end no residue great cigar Caldwell Eastern Standard this is the Toro uh, one sec Cypress Room <laughs> I forgot what it was called there for a minute uh, each one of the different sizes has a different name Euro Express that's for 44 by 5.5, Coretto, 5 by 50, and the Cakewalk, which is a 6 by 50. And the Cream Crush, 48 by 7. So quite a variety of sizes. Uh, I would imagine the rest of them are probably in the same price range, maybe some a little less, maybe some a little more. But uh, all in all, great smoke. Definitely you want to try something really tasty. Put a couple good hours into it. 10, 11 bucks. The Caldwell Eastern Standard. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Thank you for tuning in. Let's check out my other videos. Come to my website. Uh, if you have any comments or anything you want to just come on the website, click on the contact page, send me an email, uh, enter my contest, if you just send me a cigar face, whatever you want. If you do come and send me any kind of email, I'll automatically enter you in the contest. So, until next time, thanks again for tuning in. Happy smoking. Me 
even reach my knees as to watching this world for free. 